Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Welcome to Demon School of Remicone Season 3, Episode 2. Um, obviously everybody is having to endure their training, and <coughs> none of them are really making much headway in doing what they're supposed to, and doing what the teachers want them to do. But... Yeah, it gets to the point where Lee decides that he's going to go ask Professor Robin to tutor him because it's got to be better than what he, they're going through. And Iruma tells him, you can go on ahead, I'm staying here. Because, I mean, he's endured so much. This is nothing to him, essentially. And Hachiko walked over and told him, yeah, you're a moron. For sticking around when there's no need. Or for sticking around like this. And at first, Iruma says he's frustrated and he said he's not going to just blindly do what people say anymore. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Stand up to her. Oh no, he does the complete opposite. He vows to be the perfect errand boy. And I'm like, an errand boy literally does what they're told. Are you serious? You just contradicted yourself in the most annoying way possible. And everybody else meets up to discuss what they're having to deal with. And all of them sound like they're dealing with a lot. We don't even get to see what Jazz and, uh, and the other guy are dealing with. Because they didn't get away. They weren't able to get away. So who knows what they're dealing with. And when Iruma tells them what he's doing, they're telling him, like, yeah, that's nothing. You're not going through any kind of training. And it gets to the point where Sullivan goes and talks to Hachiko and tells her, thank you so much for coming to train Iruma. I'm sure he's doing great. And she's like, uh. And she forgot. She forgot she had to train him. Oh, my God. And she tells him that I'm going to help you make a weapon. And she, essentially, she's, since she's related to Professor Robin, she has a similar ability to his bloodline ability involving a bow and arrow. Except this one allows her to send out a lot more shots in a row. Multiple times, I might add, because he can only do it like once a day. And... Essentially, Irma is eager to be allowed to be able to truth about allowed to do this because this is actual training, and it give him something to be able to do besides just using the magic. They end up at the magical apparatus battlers. Irma's battler, and there's nobody there at the moment except I think the creepy stalker guy from that was dealing with Amory before. So I don't know who's going to help them. Maybe there will already be something there. I don't know. <coughs> and you're probably wondering, well, what did Lee end up having to do when he went to go ask Robin to toot him? He told Lee to bring him all his favorite games and stuff and then told him, we're going to complete all this in six days. It, considering all the games he had brought, there is no way. Only way that's happening is they're very short games. And they are not, I'm guessing. Oh boy, so they're all going through strenuous torture training, essentially. As for how these are going to help them, I don't know. Anyway, I can't wait for more, and I will see you guys next time.